Welcome to the third lecture of this section. Today we'll talk about scalp and meninges anatomy of mnemonics, so let's get started. Scalp is composed of five layers which can be remembered with the word scalp itself. So first, there is the skin, then the connective tissue, then the aponeurosis or epicranial aponeurosis which is a tough layer of dense fibrous tissue, then a layer of loose connective tissue that provides an easy plane of separation between the upper three layers and the pericranium, and finally the pericranium which is the periosteum of the skull bones and provides nutrition to the bone. So together they form the word scalp. Now scalp is innervated by the following nerves. First, the zygomaticotemporal nerve from the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve, then the greater occipital nerve, which is a spinal nerve that arises between the first and second cervical vertebrae, along with the lesser occipital nerve. Then, the auriculotemporal nerve from the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve, and finally, the supratrochlear nerve and the supraorbital nerve from the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. To remember them, you can use the mnemonic Z glass so you'll never miss any of them. And finally, the meninges. Meninges is the plural of the word minix, which means in ancient Greek a membrane, and they are actually like three membranes that envelop the brain and spinal cord. They are the dura mater, the arachnoid membrane, and the pia mater. And to help you remember them in order from inside out, you can use the mnemonic pad, so first there is the pia mater, then the arachnoid membrane, and finally from the outside the dura mater. Another way you can use to remember the innermost one, it's the one with the letter I, so it's the pia mater, and the outermost one is the one with the letter U, so it's the dura mater. Now I hope previous mnemonics were helpful for you, and up to the next one.